Welcome to the 1620s house and garden at Donington Le Heath. What we've got here is a beautiful 700 year old house in which we're focusing on one particular time in history. This is a time of great sort of experimentation with gardening, but with science and technology and, and just knowledge generally. So it's quite an exciting time in our history. The house itself is set inside of a, an area of really beautiful gardens which have been carefully researched and planted up uh, and there's lots of different sections to those gardens as well so on a sunny day like today just a really joy to behold. What we've done inside the house is try to fully furnish it like a family home from the time. So to tell, help tell the story of the house, the 700 years of it, but also about life in Jacobean England, we've enlisted the help of a whole team of wonderful volunteers. And they're ever working inside the house, talking to the public, making sure that they do touch things, because the great thing about this house is you can actually touch stuff. And also in the gardens, doing the heavy garden work, doing the light pruning, but also again, engaging with our visitors uh, in making sure that they can fully enjoy what we've got to offer. Well, I enjoy doing it because A, I get to meet a lot of people and the other volunteers are nice, friendly people and we get on ever so well together and it's a bit like a family in a way. The council workers are good, they all look after you, they do a grand job, but most importantly, I think A, we're keeping the house alive, we're keeping history alive and by volunteering we are imparting some knowledge that we know to people who come in to have a look around the house. On a daily basis we have to make sure that all the artefacts and everything within the house is still up to the standard that it should be. So sometimes we do some dusting, we do some housekeeping, we have to check that there's no moths in the uh, uh, hangings around the four poster bed, uh, we have to make sure that um, the security systems are in place so that any visitors are as safe as they can be um, and we just have to make sure that the tables are set appropriately and all the other pieces of furniture and things like that are in the right place. So if we want it to be as interesting uh, an experience as uh, possible because some of the visitors have come from a long way. Some of our visitors are um, international visitors so we want to make the, the visit to the manor house as um, interesting as we can and we allow, allow people to touch the furniture, open cupboards, sit down on the furniture, use the artefacts that we've got available so it's quite an interesting and interactive trip and a visit for, for people. When we get people through the door here they're very impressed by the fact that everything is hands-on, they're encouraged to walk about, to touch things, to pick things up, to look underneath them, to ask questions and everybody comments on how enthusiastic the staff are and the volunteers are that are here and I'm sure that that is a reflection of the of the type of environment that we're working in because it is happy and people enjoy it and they like to come and they want to come again and we hope that the visitors will all want to come again as well. I got interested uh, before Christmas when um, I learned that um, uh, at the house here they were planning to develop a, a kitchen garden and grow vegetables that were um, of the era of the house. Uh, I've always been interested in vegetable gardening but my knowledge of what they grew um, in the 1620s of that era I knew nothing so it was quite interesting for me to learn about the types of vegetables they grew uh, and I could bring some previous experience of vegetable garden, gardening to the, um, to the house. And the beauty of it is um, that there's no pressure on me at all because I can come as often or as, as, as frequently as, as I want to. Um, generally I come for about a day a week uh, for about five hours uh, and then we meet up as a gardening team every other Wednesday for the morning and that absolutely suits me fine. And the other major benefit uh, I find from volunteering is that it gets me to work outside, um, so I get plenty of vitamin D from the sun, uh, it keeps me fit, and just to spend a day here like today when it's really nice and warm, chat with the public that go by, and just get totally absorbed into what I'm doing, um, just lose yourself, um, it's wonderful. Uh, you go home feeling very relaxed and stress-free.
So you've seen all the wonderful things that the volunteers are doing here at the House and Gardens and you've seen what a lovely site it is. So why don't you consider coming along and joining the team and find out how you can help bring history to life here. Thank you.